All right, this is uh, Adam and Heather. Hi. Um, so this is the Tour Attack brake pedal. They call it brake pedal ex extender. Um, do you know why I bought this, Heather? Well, you thought that I needed a bigger brake pedal, and but in reality, I think you just bought it because you had a gift card. Right, yeah. I got a thing from BDR, like a $50 gift card. Um, I like that it's one piece of aluminum um cut i like that it sits on top of my existing lever so it doesn't actually replace it like i thought it did yeah 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 it, it, so it's one piece i think it's one piece of like you know carved out aluminum it's a super simple install with just like a bolt two washers uh and a nut um but yeah like so your lever is stainless steel so yeah um you can bend it back if you need to but the aluminum will fail if it needs to but it will sacrifice itself to save the lever if that makes sense you usually hold up the instructions but this time you actually had to go to the website because they don't send you the actual instructions yeah you to go to their site i should on tour tech for this in the video when we were recording it initially and i should mention that um the video audio failed so that's why we're doing it this way with the voiceover but i suppose you can that's, also find them at manuals.tourtech.com that's pretty much the operation though um, but I think I figured it out, which is just basically Touratech doesn't, if they make a revision to their instructions, they, um, don't want to have to fill the, uh, the bags again. So they, they do it this way. Um, installation is really easy. It drops right on top. You can see the tolerances are pretty good. It fits literally right over the top there. And then Heather drops in a bolt and washer. It's super easy. The only reason I didn't do the whole thing myself was because you locked tight did the crap out of the which i didn't have to i didn't realize this but they actually tour tech didn't really take any cheap steps they actually ended up um giving you a locking nut so you don't need thread locker at all yeah you'll notice the big side goes on the back towards the heat shield that's just if you follow the shape of the brake pedal you'll understand that that's you know why that is um washer goes in the bottom and then the put the nut. nut. Yeah. I think the top was a three millimeter Allen. The bottom was like a, a 10 or 11 size socket. Anyone with an Allen key set and a socket set uh, can do this. No problem. A wrench will not work because you need, you kind of gets the hole is a little bit um, hard to get to, but you can see here how it works. It's pr pretty simple. Um, Heather, do you have any thoughts on? Uh... Well, my only concern, and I guess we'll see what happens, is that as a new rider last season, I was dragging the brake a little bit. And so I fear that by making it bigger, that's even more likely to happen. But I guess we'll see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's it. Yeah, it. I, I like it's aluminum. I've seen a lot of brake levers get bent off road and you can bend them back, but aluminum will, won't, you know, will probably break off, which is fine, actually, because I'd rather this kill itself than take the brake lever with it. I also like there's a lip on the inside of the heat shield there, which keeps your boot from, boot from rubbing against the, um, and marring up the aluminum heat shield and just melting off. <clears throat> um, and I also like the teeth with the false bottom. So if you have any mud on your boot, it'll fall straight through. The, um, the brake levers, extenders from Altrider and Wonderlink, Wonderlink um, <clears throat> both of those uh, are completely like one plane. There's no, there's no holes for dirt to drop into. So, um, you know, Heather made a good point. If you are a middle of foot um, peg stander, you'll probably drag this brake a little bit. But if you um, use proper technique and use your ball or your foot on the uh, pedal, then you'll be fine. It won't be a problem. But uh, it, it is nice and wide. I think it kind of makes the peg look super small. Yeah, that's true. Um, any other thoughts, Heather, before we close it out? No, I think now they can listen to the really crummy audio that you attempted to use the first time. Awful.